Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues playing as Vault City. No, I played Vault City a whole bunch before, but not with the 4.0 update and we're playing with the first system in the net for now, but we're going to go with all clear. Well, our records are not entirely certain about when Vault 8 opened. It's clear that it was the first one or two decades after the bombs fell. The world was a very different place back then, but we were first steps, followed with the ghouls of Gecko. Although we almost came to blows with the ghoulish neighbors, we were able to broker an agreement. But all clear. While our records are not entirely uh, the, certain about when Vault 8 opened, it was clear that it was the first one or two decades after the bombs. The world was a very different place back then. What are the first steps? Scouts. Establish perimeter. Ooh. We get 500 manpower, 200 manpower. Start up the Gek. Early Gek. Um, honestly, that's probably the best. Start up the Gek. The Outworld. The Gem of the Wasteland has never been as bigoted as some portray, and some worthy Wastelanders have always been able to gain citizenship. But we cannot let everyone into the Utopia. Some gain citizenship due to their penetrating intellect. Some by service of all city, and some by uh, <clears throat> a bit of both. And the goals of Gecko will be completed very soon. Oh, old oh, roll blues. And also, we have a couple options here, but I already know which way we're going to go. We can go with first assistant selected. Lynn has one selection versus this guy named Meyer, and I'll be honest, we're going to go with Meyer in this campaign, but Gecko's mess. Northeast of our glorious city is a town filled with ghouls who are polluting the groundwater with deadly radiation. The toxins almost led to the war between our utopia and the ghouls, but a descendant from Vault 13 was able to broker peace between us. Vault, Thir uh, Vault City uh, protected Gecko and traded medical supplies in exchange for power. Our relationship has been fruitful, but as of late, some wonder the ghouls have gotten the better end of the deal. Strengthen our bonds, boost support for tolerance, and proves the standing of Lynette's old guard party. I'll just say that this advisor cannot be removed. Oh. Well, we're at here. We have the Marvels of Vault City. We have the NCR Garrison, as well as Early Gap, of course, that we just got. But we, I want to go for this campaign. Cult of Renewal, not that one. We'll, we'll, we'll get that one eventually. That's the one. I, that's a unique focus tree one, actually. Pacifist, nah. Old Guard, that sounds like fun, but we definitely want to go to the Citizens League. For now. Maybe we should consider going separate ways. Boost for democracy and standing of Maya's Citizenship League Party. And why upset the status quo? So we'll go this one. The presence of the bear. Love it or hate it, the NCR is the strongest power in the wasteland that we know of. Some shade for the subsidy we pay to them, while others recognize it's better for them to die in pursuit of empire than our youth. As we're building up seven cities, which is not bad actually. And another by Captain God Wallace. Another look at the Outworld. One of the first citizens of Lynette's wisest decisions was to take another look at the Outworld. Lynette married a senator from the NCR, of course, so she has a lot of power. Dealt with a chosen one and welcomed refugees who needed a new home after the base off the, Cal base off the coast of California got blown up in an act of terrorism, as they claimed. These refugees integrated themselves well into the day-to-day -day life of Alt City, like joining the Guard or any of the pursuit that matched her skill set. Well, better here than a motel in Mojave. Welcome refugees. Power armor technology goes way up, or for research speed at least. We do get power armor. Ooh. Nice. End of a term. By all appearances, Lynette's term as first citizen will be one of many, like her mother before. But Security Chief Ma has adopted the Californian heresy and is pushing for an election. Will the wisdom of Vault City prevail, or will the mob rule come to the city of tomorrow? That's a good question to ask. Which of the voice has not been met yet. The bear in our den. When Roger Weston came to Vault City, he did not come alone. With him came a sizable detachment of NCR soldiers and engineers. The engineers were there to quickly erect some buildings and walls to house the soldiers and left. The soldiers were, though, were here to stay in a permanent garrison just right outside of walls. Back then, the rising threat of raiders was more than our guards could handle, and the NCR was here to help. Obviously, the NCR's involvement was not completely altruistic in nature. They clearly wanted to bring us into their fold, and this was their first step. But the expected big push from the raiders never came, and neither did the NCRs for various reasons. But still, the garrison remained. The soldiers were rotated in regular intervals, but over time it became noticeable that with every rotation, the equipment became worse. Outdated weapons in sometimes atrocious condition and lacking essential supplies. What else became worse was the character of the average soldier. Drunken brawls that needed to be broken up regularly by our guards, brawls that should not have happened in the first place if some of the soldiers also didn't smuggle in alcohol, cigarettes, and sometimes even chems through the gates with the shipments from the NCR. But at that point, even with the raiders being less of a threat, a lot of our defense has become reliant on these soldiers. And just ousting the garrison would not go over well with the friends in the NCR. This is quite the problem. We could legalize things. Who support for democracy in Meyer's campaign? Tolerance, infrastructure. So if you go to the left side here, you boost the old guard. I like the stability. That's nice. But if you go to the right side, you get caps. You boost uh, support for Meyer's democracy, stability, and war support. Aluminum. An arms workshop. 300 manpower. I kind of want to go with this just in case first, because 10% more stability. That's not bad. And out of everything here... I think that's best. Let's 
go with that one first. Although criticism by some of our youth that Bolt City is designed for octogenarians are unfair, one way to beat Myers is to promise more freedom of expression. I quite like some of these comics when I studied abroad. He calls it democracy, I call it mob rule. The Bolt City is prosper under the guns of the council chosen by goats, these leaders in turn. Selected one of the members, or selected one of their number to be the first citizen. Lynette's appointment was no surprise given her mother's success and she has guided the city well. Lynette's uh, supports goals, rights, and advocates stronger ties with the NCR, hoping to be a good influence upon the wasteland. When Bolt Bolt City should remain aloof, it can also uh, be a light into the waste about the filth and muck that threatens so much. But not everyone is happy with the system. Maya, the hero of the Guard, has adopted the views of the NCR. Maya believes the strength of the NCR comes from the people, and that Vault City can be a nucleus for a new, free Nevada. Maya's parents immigrated to Vault City in the 2240s, and he has adopted some of their ideals. Of course, Vault City should be governed by the people, for the people, and of the people. And the ghouls love and the ghouls Lynette loves, well, they have got to go. Actually, they both have good points. Let's go trade these guys, because these guys are over here in seven combo with, which is oh not great. And then we have these two guys, the ten combo with, so our friends list up. Aaron Kimball agreed to visit Fall City and threw support behind first assistant Lynette. Aaron Kimball's stirring speech before a council banquet over a glass of synthanol over the importance of our economic ties reminded us that what of our differences? Our support for the rule of law and order brings us together. A far better fate than one that pulls us apart. Different views towards uh, the same ends. And next up, arm XP is not bad. Arms workshop, support the guard. If we expel the California tyranny, we'll need to stand up for ourselves. We shall always be on guard for you. No more stability is nice. So now we have between these two. That's actually a lot more balanced, huh? Welcome refugees for now. Uh, legalize it. New generation. That's not bad. 40% is not bad. I like the free infrastructure, though. We gotta. Let's do a couple more first, though. The mutant threat. We've tolerated ghouls for too long. We will build a nation free of the threat of ferals or FEV tanks or cannibalistic monsters. We will build a promised land for the pure. No ghouls. Ghouls get out. Nice. So how much support do you actually get? Because we had 40% for the Citizens League. So now we're at 45. So increase by 5%. So let's balance it out a little bit more. Caps are nice. Begin a trade route. Ooh. Trade with Reno, why not? Vault City has traditionally been, uh, spurned with New Reno, but there are some fine people there. Even if they need to be saved from their decadent ways, there's no reason they think they're subhuman. At least for now. Um, let's see, over here we have quite a few infantry equipment, which is pretty nice. Uh, the garrison's not great. The Vault City Guard is really what we're going to be using for now. I wish we could convert these guys, but we cannot. <sighs> Sad, I know. Actually, we got quite a bit of political power, but I did want to save it for, like, um, this guy? The All Clear Station. What is it? All Clear Station? Ah. Point Advisor with a daily effect. Okay, so let's not get him then right now. What's an economy? That's as high as we can go for now. Spy Master, not bad. Ooh, I like this one quite a bit. Frontier Runner, not terrible either. Uh, no one over there, which sucks. Vault. I guess this is the only guy we got over here. Let's uh... That's not... Actually, both these are not bad. 3% organization is not bad, but this is for defense, and that's plus 3 more max entrenchment. That's nothing to laugh at. I like that quite a bit, actually. More stability, more war support, more st stuff like that. Um, organization. Vault at calling. There's really not much I really don't get. Servant allocation center. That's a little different. Oh, no. Arms company. Tochinsky. You know what? We'll probably just go with Tochinsky for now. That's pretty tried and true to do. But let's come up back up here and grab Trey with Reno. So we balance, keep it in the middle, and we'll go with the workshop of the wasteland, because we can. Lynette's peace and prosperity is nothing to sneer at. Let the Californians die for the Mojave. Or spend the lives shoveling in Brahmin dung. We're going to build a utopia. Free infrastructure, which basically means get more resources. I think that's great. I think that's really great, actually. As we've got some crowd control gear, not bad. Scout kits. Well, we're gonna need to get the power armor eventually, so we better start doing that too. Very nice, very nice. And trade with Reno workshop. Legalize it. Condemn the garrisons. Yes. Lynette's mother made us the joke of the wasteland. Relying upon jetted up NCR soldiers to protect us. It's time for them to withdraw once and for all. And elected, I should prepare us to stand on our own two feet. Now we're gonna reject these guys because generally it's better at the time of this recording because that used to be overpowered, but not anymore. Pick up the followers. We can try to improve our relations. No. Divert the followers' supplies. Through some bribes and threats, we can obtain a small portion of the followers' stockpiles, allowing them to be used by our army. Yes, but then we're also going to lose a little bit of manpower, whatever. If we dress up some men as raiders, we can directly raid supply catches of the followers. It's risky. And then seize the followers' fort, which is why this is better, because you get a civilian workshop. The followers operate out of a number of forts and bases up and down the country. If we so wished, we could march up to one of them and take it. It pisses the followers off quite a bit, so... 
happens. Get him out of here. And eh, begin to scavenge probably party two probably. Follow rejected. Oh, there you go. We're gonna do that. Please go ahead. We did well. Yay. Vault City. Trade routes in use. Nice. Work as needed. Yes, please. There we go with that one too. Barrage balloons, not bad. I'm gonna grab that real quick. We're gonna say, yeah, we'll make these. No, not really, but we'll make these. Yes, please. Workshop of the Wasteland and uh, legalize it. Book of immigrants. Which one was it? What are we gonna do? Uh, the council's long banned alcohol from the city, but there's nothing wrong with the vice and moderation. In fact, some rumors say members of the council indulge on the side. If it's good enough for them, it's bad enough for you. There we go, too. Condemn the garrison. Okay. Oh, I've heard of this one. Condemn the garrison. My bad. There you go. We want to do that one, too. She has army. Not bad. We get, like, no army XP. Oh, good God. That is not good. Yeah, trying to, I played Sons of Kaga once, and that was really difficult to begin. Very difficult. Oh, God, I complained so much. I apologize. Oh, boy. oh Chad Ranor. Hello, Chad. Nice. Oh, he's level 6. Jesus, that's really good. Uh, I always go inspirational. It's not really worth it that much, but we're going to keep going with him for now. With that Condemn Garrison. We are at 45%. That would put us at 60. Uh, it has to be after July. So, really, you can choose. There's this one, that one, and then this one. How long is it going to take? Seven days, that's not bad. So, we got 11 days left. Then you do one more. Bing and bong, and then come down here. So, we could do one more here if we really wanted to. Caps. Um, what are we missing? Advanced components. That's pretty good to get. Uh, technology, research. We already have five research slots. You'll wish they could all be California girls. We're all as flaws. The NCR is the most successful state in the wasteland. Which you to align with people who are literally called bone dancers? Well, the Techno Knights of the Lost Hills. Now let's celebrate our ties with the largest civilization in the wastes. And I'll come over here too. I think that'd be pretty nice. And we currently get 1.15, that's not bad. This awesome stability got more war support, which is not terrible too. There was equipment, come over here. Oh, yeah, we we'll definitely gonna need some of that. Definitely. We get some caps as well, which is nice. That one. What are we gonna grab? Bikes? Sure. We're trading? Nice. And then welcome immigrants. Maya is far from the only immigrant to make a Vault City a better place. So we can forget the resident of Vault 13, who served as captain of the guard. We must welcome the best and brightest to our utopia. 16. Still not enough to grab this stuff, because I would like to do this and then it makes it slightly cheaper to improve our divisions. Actually, how many caps do we get a month? We got a good, decent amount right now. And then the selection of 2275. Bald City stands at a crossroads. Will it continue the traditions that have made it a light in the darkness? Or can it stand for something more? It'll all come down to the decision on the evening of the 1st of July. The evening of the selection? Oh boy. Maya's insistence uh, to involve regular citizens in this year's selection for the new first citizen has made this a way longer process than it usually is normally. The decision is made reasonably quickly and far from the public eye in the council building by a unanimous vote from the council members. No public speeches, not trying to get the average citizen behind you, and while the council will all have the final word on the decisions, my got his will, and the decision will be heavily influenced by the public. Opinion, of course. Half a year after the announcement of this year's elections, is it time for the council to convene? What happens if we just cancel this one? Say, the votes are in. The result. The results of this year's selection uh, prove Myers' hunch that the people of the Vault City are not satisfied with the current situation. It was surrounded by a large amount of citizens in the downtown park, being congratulated for his victory. He wanted to get some words in in a speech he had prepared to, in advance for his day, thanking his supporters and his husband, uh, but the celebrations gave him the opportunity to come to word. He decided to just go with the flow of the event, he was at least secure uh, in his belief that he did the right thing for the people. So now we can't do this. So that's okay to do that. We still And we still have... Look at this guy, Chief Meyer, huh? Send it from immigrants, huh? Prepared to take the necessary steps to save Vault City from all enemies, foreign and domestic. So we can't get that one done, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, we can still expel them. I didn't realize that. Ooh, armory. But when we go to the right side here, we get um, war goals. Civilian factories. Ooh, civilian factory construction speed. More attack, but more supply consumption. A disaster waiting to happen. Well, Corps of Engineering. But but if we don't go down here, kick out the ghouls. Root out ghoul sympathizers for your district. Renovate the power plant. I want to go to the wild, w the wilds of East Nevada. 
as fast as we can. But at the same time, we got to build stuff. The Corps of Engineering. The issue with recruiting outside world or outlaw or sorry future citizens for a core of engineering is that we really don't have a core of engineering we have a maintenance center but the building itself is not really suited for more than a few people at best so the first task for a newly formed core of engineering is building something they can actually work out of actually do anything else here anything different spy master attack defense no okay then happy harry's oh that's different i like i like these images here we're gonna go with power armor eventually i want to research stuff faster Gecko? Long time coming. I'll clear station. Well, I'll go and grab him first. Go ahead, push. Um, actually, how many cities do we have? Well, I guess so. Why not? With a new push to pa or path assistance ship out, it's time to deal with the courtyard. An aggressive recruitment push will get, bring a good chunk of the courtyard populace into the fold. So it'll also make it easier for further projects in the area. It can't be a shiny beacon of civilization if you have to wade through the little filth right out of gates. And then the courtyard district. The courtyard is the first place all worlders enter in Vault City. But it could be so much more as we open citizenship up to our fellow Nevadans. Let's expand the district to make homes for them. Let the, let's turn these slums into homes worthy of Vault, Vault City's citizens. Yeah, I definitely want to go with this one. So we're going to go start doing that one. I love that doctor probably too much. A disaster waiting to happen. Our relationship with the ghouls and the Gecko Power Plant have been tenuous at best. There's no interaction beyond our trade of supplies for electricity. The power connection would be interrupted for any reason, like them going feral or just trying to ransom us for more. We'd be completely helpless. The old vault generator just can't support our defenses that just keep the wastelanders at bay. And new guards on duty. Our new batch of recruits in the guard in dire need of some training to work together in an organized fashion. Some of our earlier immigrants, although too old to fight directly on the front line, could train them in the ways of combat. Perhaps inspire others to join the guard. Rooting out Ghoul sympathizers. Gordon, the Ghoul envoy from Gecko, seems to be a prominent figure in a group that calls themselves the Cult of Renewal. These some hokey superstitions about the universal cycle of removal of all things and also supports ghouls and get going elsewhere. Gordon was never a particularly welcome sign of Vault City anyway, so let's make this a bit more official by getting rid of him and his cultist friends. Kick out the ghouls. With a guard having a surplus of manpower for once, we can finally do something about our ghoulified neighbors. It's doubtful that they'll actually put in much of a fight, but you never know with these ghouls, you know. Uh, attacking new projects, because I do want to get down to... Exchange Center? No. Work Allocation. What is this? Is there a location giving effective change? Oh. Power armor thing is I really want to quite badly. But we're going to keep going this way for now. Let's keep doing this. Five plane fighters are way too ahead of time for us. We'll grab some decryption as well. So we're going to go through all of these. And anything else for civvies? Uh, we have completed the assault on Gecko. Oh, okay. Assault on Gecko. Well. Expanding the Vault City Walls. With the rising population due to the influx of new outworld citizens, space inside our walls have gotten slightly more scarce. While it's not really feasible to produce the same height and strength walls as the current ones on a much larger scale, an effort must be made to protect all our citizens. The rest of car houses do not provide sufficient production, usually. None of the people have spoken. We have our feelings towards Vault City's largest training, largest training partner. If we wish to hold our heads up high, the NCR's garrison must go. Assault on Atomic Power Plant 13. After some careful consideration, we've decided that it's not worth the risk to keep the ghouls in check or in gecko around any longer. We're pretty sure they're aware of the resentment towards them that was always bubbling just under the surface of Vault City, and it's pretty much in the open nowadays. We need to act now before they can shore up their defenses and make uh, what could be a short operation to a full-blown open conflict. Start the assault. What's we'll the wait until word comes back from our team? Until then, trade of silence. This event will take... Have varying outcomes based on some of your earlier decisions regarding the ghouls. We already rooted out the sympathizers, so. Um. Yeah, new guards on duty. Start the assault, I guess. As we expound the NCR guard for now, too. Um. Five from the Van Graffs. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for these two. So. Arms workshop, not bad. Winnemucca Outpost. Winnemucca has been a Vault City outpost for a while now. The eastward facing defensive encampment was meant to give us early warning of a larger force approaches, despite the fact that over the years, a sizable amount of wastelanders have settled close to it. It was uh, <clears throat> always used as an afterthought. We should improve the outpost infrastructure and consider what to do about the wastelanders. Just a minor bump in the road. The radio receiver and the control base uh, crackled to life. The strike team's leader's voice came over the airwaves. The mission was success. Power plant is clean, some doors might be buzzing, there's a good amount of blood cleaned up. The team is fine, apart from a small cuts and bruises. And as instructed, I left half of the team as guards at the plant. The rest of us are on the way back. You can send over the, in the engineers and the permanent guard force. Over. There's work to be done. Uh, the people have spoken. We share much with the NCR, most notably a belief that government must be of the people. Oh, for the people. And other people. 
who always consider ourselves to be friends of the Republic, but Mark continued, Vault City can stand on its own. On behalf of the Council and the people of Vault City, I therefore declare that Vault City's treaty is null and void and the garrison shall be withdrawn. A great day for the city. Now we're down to 13 divisions, which, in all honesty, 13 divisions is not bad. Treasure Trove! Oh, we sent out some guys to, uh, like, scout for stuff. So, we have 40... Oh, that's a lot of army XP, more than we got. So let's go with infantry for now. Makes it slightly cheaper to improve, because we'll be using a lot of infantry, just because. And it's not exactly four, it's like probably like four and a half for army XP, but that's alright. At least, at the minimum, 18 combat width, because we'll need a normal infantry force before we throw on a touch of power armor, which is down here now. And these guys are 10 combat width, but that's alright. And yeah, we don't have enough army XP for them, but whatever. Uh, after the outpost, renovate the power plant, find a new fuel source. Well, let's renovate it first. Supposedly, the power plant in Gecko was fixed 30 years ago. What was fixed was the ghouls almost killing us with their carelessness. A good part of the structure still slowly but surely falling apart, and it's only a matter of time till it all goes horribly wrong. The duty to keep this from happening now falls to us, especially since we may have broken some things while getting it under our control. You know, a couple things here and there might have broken, but whatever. Uh, since we're here, we're gonna hang out and have a good time. We need a new guard, eh? Dweller Charles. He's a lone wolf. Attack and defense. Way less entrenchment, which is totally fine for a uh, um, spec ops leader. But two? I don't know. Lone wolf. Oh, good God. I don't know if, if I even want to invest in this guy. That's really bad. Um, yeah. Two divisions? Lone wolf is really not good. As much as I love attack and defense. Unit leader. Max army group size. Minus five. Good lord. That's bad. And we are researching the things at quite ahead of time because why not? I guess. Gonna build crap ton of cities as we're really improving Vault City as much as possible here. Also, I guess technically we did get rid of the bear. So, do we still have? We have the bear economy still. Interesting. We still have this. Uh, cannot replace it, which is fine. Whatever. It's not a bad thing. You get intelligence to others and stuff like that, but whatever. Excellent. 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 I did go ahead and go to funding the army because it's trying to get up here to get 50% war support. I was going to take forever. Even though I guess now we have 1% lower than 50%. Uh, Scavengers found something. Oh, silent or stunt. Stent security station schematics. Oh. Infantry technology research speed. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't think there's anything here for. Oh, no, never mind. I was looking for that right there. West Tech power armor. Yeah, that'd be actually really nice. I'm going to the power plant, though. And find a new fuel source. Out of broken hills, ran out of uranium. We mostly relied on our stockpiles and the rare trader that was willing to deal in dangerous material. And we honestly I have no idea how the gecko ghouls kept the plant running as long as they did, but with it under our full control, our stockpiles will be used up soon and we would then have to rely on the backup generator from the vault again. But the wilds of East Nevada. While the area to our west is generally considered to be civilized, if not pe necessarily peaceful, the east is an unorganized mess of frontier towns, tribes, and <laughs> raider hideouts. Get more speed, which is nice. And. Nice. And that's a 45 day focus, which sucks, but on more wilderness. Elko Posses. Poses. Posses. Riding shotgun. Badland buckaroos. More compliance. More compliance. Mysteries of the jungle. Slanter. So we can go with the Posse and the Slanters. Eastport sends a delegation. Well, let's go with them first. Badland buckaroos. Oh, they're, oh that's a lot. That's like. Oh, this should be the Cyclops tribes. Badland buckaroos. They have a generic focus for now. This used to be a sock so I don't remember them. Yeah. Oh, the posse? Oh, God. I don't know. I do not want to border with the 80s. I hate the 80s. Do they get... No, it's still... Is this a different focus than what they used to have? Maybe not. Is it? I can't tell. Oh, this part's a little different. No, it looks, I think, generally the same. I can't remember. I should play the 80s again sometime. But... The buckaroos are up here versus the oh, posse. I'd rather take these guys out first, maybe. Train mongrels, nice. You know, well, let's go with you guys first. The buckaroos. Riding a shotgun. <laughs> the buckaroos. Glad they're just humble ranchers, keeping the tradition alive. In reality, though, most of the livestock they keep was stolen from various settlements in the area. They sell them for more profit or use them for the products. Expanding to the area will help their victims, but also give access to a reasonably fertile area and all of the livestock that isn't claimed by anyone else.
Can you get some sort of other general? If you draw enduring skill, oh god, yeah. Definitely, oh my goodness, it's so much better. Learn a lot, son. We need more manpower, actually, of all things. Okay, so now we're at 60%. I should not have, eh, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I shouldn't spend all the political power trying to get to those, that stuff, but whatever. At this point, it doesn't really matter too much, but we will need some more manpower soon. So, Ryan Shotgun, please. Because 10 combo with... Oh, no, 18 combo with is more than fine to hold the defense lines. It's not perfect, but... That sock attack is god-awful. But the power armor itself is pretty bad right now, too, but whatever. Nice. Ryan Shotgun. Can we... Yes. Oh, that's all we can invest right now. That's fine. Whatever. You know what? If we need to save some, it's fine to do that too. Um, after that, we'll need to control them. Contact in Eastport. Waiting for the storm. Yeah. But among the willows, if the elk, oh, posse, was well, any more organized, you may group them together with the criminal empires to the west. But as it currently stands, they're a typical raider gang with illusions of grandeur. There have been rumors floating around of them gunning for Vault City, as laughable as that is. Let's squash these rumors, and while we're at it, squash the posse too. But in the meantime, we're still trying to build up just civvies. We've got some dynamite, which ain't bad. Support equipment, of course, a very basic potato power armor, which sucks, but whatever. So we got a lot of build. Saws and dogs and all them good stuff. And I definitely want some planes as well. He's not very good on attack, is he? But we'll get there. And, of course, as soon as it says he's not going to attack, he falls ill. Good job. Good job. Yeah, we're actually pretty close. Um, we need 150, huh? Well, that's quite all right. Riding shotgun. We got muzzle descent, freedom of speech. You get more political power. That eight percent. You can't stop the press, so they try, they try. But a free people will stay, will fight to stay free. As much as I want eight percent more political power, if we muzzle descent, we don't get freedom of speech, which is fine, because you'll get often events that could capture enemy reports, I think, or battle plans. While we could also get ours revealed as well, which is not good. So let's go and do that one too. And what else? Pioneer kits. Get that one. Still doing that doctrine there, which is fine. Yeah, we don't need a lot of manpower, ain't we? Alright, let's go and just get more organization first. There we are. Yeah, I think if we just do a general attack, we'll be fine. Oh! Oh, contact the Eastport. I guess we have them first. Eastport's loose community of settlements with an oddly chosen name. The claim to fame is a working pre-war brewery in the sale of its products. They reported an increase in the sightings of 80s road warriors driving around the area over the last couple months. We should try to establish a military presence there as quickly as we can for the protection of ours. There the ours, of course. Huh. Well. See what we can do. See what we can cook up here, I guess. Go to Paradise Valley if you can. Send another division that way too and help support the attack. This will be really good for a lot of army XP. Um, rapid deployment is good as well. I never do flexibility command. Uh, experienced soldiers lost re more reinforcement, but more breakthrough. I mean, breakthrough is always really good to get. So, oh, you want to split them in half? That's fine with me. And continue splitting them as much as possible. Demand tribute? Nope. Give them a loan. We got the money for it. They might pay us back too. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. Tons of command power out there. Love, love, love. Not even a political power day, which sucks, but whatever. You guys will be wrapped up soon. And nice. A little ahead of time, doesn't matter to me though. More manpower, let's get some manpower right there, which is cool right to get. Power armor of all things did not be doing anything. Power armor is the one thing you want them to do stuff. So. Nice. A little bit of a grind. We've lost 13 guys versus a thousand. I think that's pretty good so far. Oh, this goes basics. What's this? The gecko power plant. Clean up the place. 
We need to fix up some broken down doors, patch over some bullet holes, and remove a lot of ghoul bodies, but considering most of the buildings outside the actual power plant were Vault City sponsored in the first place, this place would be fit to be filled with some persistence, at least after the ghoul sent yours out. We just go with the basics. While the uranium mine in Broken Hills has dried up a while ago, there are still some places where we can get a ready supply of it. Gus is pretty penny though, not everyone is as okay with handling radioactive materials as uh, super mutants, so... Nice. Usually about these dead ghouls. So everyone knows that all ghouls are low level radioactive. Usually not much more than the already pretty high background radiation anyways, but there are some exceptions. The ones colloquially called glowing ones glow for a reason. Turns out they actually work as cheap fizzle material in a pinch. Not amazingly effective, but it works. And because of recent events, we currently have a decent supply of them. Sure. Not bad. Also, since we're here, we will go with based on pacification, contact the Eastport, and we'll do among the Willows, then corral the nerds. <coughs> Camo's gone, which is fine with us. Oh god, we still got a week here. Oh god, that's not much Hmm. Wasteland Militias, Funded Militias, which wouldn't be bad. We're going to lose 3% construction speed, but whatever. War never changes is a lot. Oh, the Willows. Alright, so they agreed to all that stuff, which is fine. Um, guaranteed by us. Which is okay. I, I wish they could pay us protection money, but whatever. Something to do with these dead? Yeah, why not? The magical material called Ultracite. Oh, this is for Lynette. If you want to put that, please go ahead, but... Probably do that next time. Whatever. Corral the herds. One consequence that we did not foresee was that while the Buckaroos were large-scale cattle rustlers, their presence was protecting the area from various smaller raider groups that were preying on the regular folks instead of their livestock. That protection is now gone. We need to do something about that. Yeah. Better for your agriculture, but that's all right. Among the willows, that ain't too bad for us. And, well, as you probably know at this point, between fading in, fading in and fading out, it's time to get rid of some more people. And I love getting rid of people. Mysteries of the Jungle. For a long time, we had reports of people vanishing in this area. That was filled with an unusually dense jungle. Now we know why. God darn mutant bipedal raccoons popping out of the ground, chucking spears at the people. We've got to put a stop to this. Especially at Slander. Where's Slander go? Slander? Oh, go down here. Ma Mayor Air. I gotta play as this nation. Alliance with New Reno. Alliance between the Vault Dwellers. Oh. Hmm, they get robots. And the new Nerino, they get sophisticated support tech. Oh, we're in major power now. Now we're struggling here, just a little bit. Just a little bit, but that's okay, because we get army XP too, so. And I'm totally okay with more army XP. Oh, someone got encircled. Hello. I mean, infantry's not good to attack with, but whatever. Demo equipment, um, or support equipment. That's really, you got two options here right now. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have enough for Recon. I've heard Recon's not great, but... Give me more Recon and more movement. I like that. Nice. Follow up with what? Waiting for the storm. Ladies might plan to roar west, but let, let them come. We'll be ready to wait for them along with all the free people of Nevada. Sure. Losses, 48 versus 500 some. Not bad. As now, we're just kind of walking in. Oh. Hello. Nope. You're not gonna... I don't care who it is. Go and go in there. We'll have other divisions come around and circle them and whatnot. Oh. Shoot up the supply a little bit more. Just if you're hanging out, how do we do that? Uh, yeah, let them come on in. And even though we struggle, it's okay, because it gives our guys even more time to learn and whatnot. Get leveled up. More army XP, all that good stuff. More terrain traits as well. It's 
Great, 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 great. Keep them in place. And then we'll then circle and destroy them that way. Planning speed? Exhausted, eh? Don't ever really use that too much, but that's okay. Officer core? Why not? Get more army XP that way, too. I'm all about that army XP. This is this care package not bad, either. How much money do we have? That's not bad. 36 every ca every month is pretty good, actually. Since we're here anyway, let's go and grab frontline, uh, whatever this guy is, frontline operative. Front, yeah, frontline operative. Old wall, old world wall holds, which almost always happens. Which I don't think I've ever seen the old world wall not hold. I've seen them just go to war sometimes and kill everybody else off. So, yay, we got Elko Posse. Almost immediately, time to go to War of Slanter. Beautiful. Man, be oh, you're gonna screw yourself, son. 80s. Oh, you're not gonna like us, 80s. Mysteries of the Jungle. Finding the holdouts, some of the posse are still hiding out in the hills. I'll bring them to justice and keep the people they oppress free and safe. Yes, more compliance. And now the East was won. Ooh. Just by Rogel's times, because right now, but well, let's read this first. It might not have been a victory in the face of insurmountable odds, but for what was just a few years ago, barely more than a city. This campaign was a huge accomplishment. We showed the world that we can stand on our own two feet, and <clears throat> that no raiders, imperialists, or mutants will bring us down. As it stands now, we're hardly just a city anymore. With our new responsibilities, we may need a new name to go with them. Taming the Wilds with the Tamed Wilds. Oh, that reduces the coring cost of states that were part of the Taming Wilds campaign by 25%, which is not bad. I'd rather have that than not have that, but still. Marching fire, great. Alright, see what we can do against these rats, or not rats, but raccoons with their bipedal. Bipedal raccoons. A little bit of struggle with a bunch of jungle down there, a bunch of weirdos, but okay then. Yeah, why are there jungles down here? Or forests, I guess it's forests, it makes more sense if it's forests, but whatever. Oh, demobilizing a little more. Yeah, let's go save up and try to do that too. The land I see. Progress on our own terms. Yeah. Army XP? Just shooting up. Not like what you do to a school? No, we don't. Anyways. Oh, look at that. Desert Fox, Hill Spider, Ranger, Ranger too. Horse Buster, not bad. You, on the other hand, coming Desert Fox, and Chad. Oh, Chad here. He's still learning. And it gives us time to, w to wait out for the storm as well, so. Getting a little exhausted. It's fine. Getting more arm XP is what I really care about here. Hey, you got more money. That's a lot more money. That's actually really nice. Military sending bonuses. The new six of package. Military sending bonuses is not bad. It's not great, but it's, it's definitely usable. What I really care about is pacifying the area, so actually, you know what? Let's get this, these guys done with first, and then we'll maybe do some new citizen care package. Waiting for the storm. Uh, fighting the holdouts. Yeah, that's not bad to do as well. Oh, you guys are here. I love them cowboy hats. You know, we could use manpower. So, thanks. It costs money too to use, but whatever. Beautiful. They're all stuck in burrows. More arm XP? Yeah. Look at that. 8% instead of what we had earlier. It's fine. Help them out. Beautiful. And goodbye. We've lost 200 versus 1,000. And we got a lot of support equipment, too. Pretty decent, I'd say. Pretty darn decent. Ooh, the cutest fur trade? Ooh, these critters are surprisingly obnoxious to fight against. The whole area was filled with traps and tunnels along them to move freely, while we never hindered at it at every step. Well, we were hindered. At least we got something out of our efforts. Turns out the fur is amazingly soft and we'll probably sell for a good amount. With great power. As it stands now, we're hardly just a city anymore. The Eastern Campaign brought in a lot of new territory we need to oversee and protect them from dangers without and within. With these new responsibilities, we may need a new name to go with them. Pro properly show that we moved on from shiny towns hugging the walls or a promised utopia. That we are here to stay and the people can rely on us. A protector, so to speak. And criminal enterprises. Considering how much your NCR taught stuff to be safe and secure, there are a surprising number or amount of what we would consider criminal empires between us and them. New Reno, the Den, Yakuza. If we want this wasteland to be a better place, we gotta start with them. Look at our name. Nevada Protectorate. What a flag. 
Modoc's aging grounds. Modoc's a small farm and town bell on the edge of the former Modoc National Forest, of course. It's been long uh, been a stopover for caravans from Reno, and we've sometimes purchased Brahmin there when no other better options are available. But now our military, emboldened by the liberation of the East, turns towards Reno. What should we do with this little hamlet? Good question. It's in regards to the uh, Oyabon. Huh. Pest control. Decided not to work with them. Cultural exchange. Work with them. Another man's trash. Just another raider gang. I kind of want to kill them off. Because we get to go to war with the jackals and the vipers. Cultural exchange is okay. But we got to figure out. Territorial man is just straights. Not too much to ask for your information, just for il illustration. But how we'll run the nation. The last girl nearly ruined this place, and she didn't know what to do with it. If you think Vault City is bad off now, just wait till I get through with it. It allows you to sign Nevada Protector Councils. Or Consuls, not Councils, but Consuls. Or outworlders as magistrates for newly conquered territories. Well, I'm not sure we're really big on outworlders too much, to be honest. Oh, we might just go with consuls. 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 Soul cons. I think that's the way I think I want us to go. Consuls. Of course, we can start coring stuff now, too, for 25% cheaper cost, which is actually really nice, but still. Go and uh, train everybody here, too, if you want. 215th. Um, so that's resource wise. 70. Well, we can't even core anything yet. But resistance is getting, uh, I think I'd say, to a pretty good level. Mm, it's not bad to core. Gecko is obviously cored. Out of everything here, this would probably be best to core first because it has at least one factory. And the population is decent. Over here, it wouldn't be too bad because it has two factories too. But over here is not a bad population amount. Not bad. Obviously, not a lot. This would be the best. The bros would be the best to core, but obviously, we can't core that anytime soon. So I might save some more manpower up. Uh, or actually just go fund militias. Uh, oh, it's actually slightly cheaper because we have old world political guide. Yeah. And we're going to stay with the Wilkup Army. Should have saved that political power from earlier. But whatever. We still have the Tamed Wilds too. Not bad. And we're just guarding against the Jackals because what else are we going to do? Hente del Sol. Modoc we want to kill off. Um, you know, since we're there anyways. Come over here. Back to how we originally started doing this stuff. There's supposed to be an airbase here too, isn't there? I believe so. Now the Modoc question. Now that we're looking westwards, it's become increasingly clear that the Modoc or territory Modoc holds has a geographically special place in our goals. If we both a direct route towards the den and open up a new flank for us towards New Reno, to secure the route, we could use a very unpopular option of taking the territory by force. Luckily, not go over well with the majority of the people back home, but considering Modoc's peaceful nature, but it might be necessary. The other option is to ask Modoc for free passage for military forces and transport convoys. Well, they might say no, which could leave us at an impasse. Ask for passage. I love being aggressive sometimes. Oh, the mutants are revolting, so the... Okay, we can go to war with them if Thrad was there. Challenge the laws of chance. New Reno Tourism. All right, interesting. And then we'll go with the all clear station. While the large swaths of land we have to oversee now sending information across quickly and securely becomes a logistical problem. Both for industry and military, and just to keep our citizens informed of things that happen somewhere else in this nation they call home. A public radio station is a solution for at least the civilian side of things, at the very least. Also, at the very least, can we throw on anything else here? We need some planes, really. Demo teams, I think, would be good. It gives us more uh, breakthroughs as well. Uh, if we can really afford it. Not really, but it gives us a slightly more breakthrough, which is not much. Slightly more defense. A little more soft tech. Honestly, infantry is just so weak. I remember back in the days when infantry used to be okay. Oh, I'm going to execute the Free States of Nevada. Are you for the Free States of Nevada? Marina. Oh! Uh, oh, wait, is that unique book history? Yeah, that sort of is. Knowledge databanks. Ooh, who is that woman on there? Anyways, before we do that, let's just come over here like this. Don't get any planning, but that's alright. <coughs> we'll still get at least a little bit here. Hit and run, nice. Alright, let's not lose any more bonus. And go to war with them, because we can. Go. We're gonna do that, and you still have your bonus for now. See what we can do. If we don't do well, then whatever. It is what it is. But we'll see. Still get how much money now? Fifty-ish, roughly fifty. Not bad. Territorial magistrates. Softness, heart attack. Yes. And I'm waiting to do this one off screen as well. All clear station. It's fine with us. 
we mobilize anymore? Yes, we are. Two year conscription still would not be bad to get to as well. Um, but we do want to call more stuff, don't we? Don't we have to be at peace with this? We gotta wait for a little bit more compliance. That's what we have to wait for first. Ah, anything here? Pain train? Yes. Attack and speed. Can they pierce us? No, they can't, which is good too. Oh, they actually. No, I thought they annexed each other. No. My bad. Losses. Oh, it's glitched. Can't see that. Dang it. We all clear station. Freeway construction. Oh. Oh, so we have to get magistrates for them. Okay, well, that's fine. Right to at a time, but whatever. Construction effort. We welcome refugees a little bit. Oh, construction effort. Oh, okay, this is what's going to take forever. Okay, that's fine. We like that, that's fine. Freeway construction. The remnants of the Interstate 80 Freedom Freeway pass through most of our new territories to the east. If we repair and connect the broken parts, we would have a relatively smooth ride all the way from Winnemucca, uh, outpost to the wells in Eastport. Speaker so Burger, if you want to do that, please go right ahead. 35 armor XP, lightweight metals are nice. Even though kill can't make any planes, but whatever. That's a year ahead of time. Output. Output. More, 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 more. Output. We are slowly making some planes, finally. Over here, pioneer kits? Nope. We'll be fine. And over here, we're going to grab nothing because we can't afford anything else. Oh, okay, so now we can do this stuff. Hawkins. Oh, crap. I'm not sure what to choose. Should we choose Consul, Outworlders, as a magistrate? Consuls are Outworlders. I don't know. Because we have to look at all these individually. Logging in the burls. So here's this one. I'll let you guys decide. Should we choose a Consul or an Outworlder as a magistrate? Because I only want to choose one for every single one of them. So let me know which way we should go. Consuls versus Outworlders. For these four different choices. Now, I kind of, I'm kind of pulling towards Outworlders, just because I guess there's another arms factory, and it makes it seem like we're a little bit more aggressive, but I'll let you guys decide. Outworlders v. Consoles. Really good for army XP. All the struggling. Which we see how what, how well we're doing, how poorly we're doing. So, Let's go ahead and hold real quick. Defend for now. All clear station, free reconstruction. It gives a little bit more time to get some more planning done first. You guys can actually go right here. So you guys are all going to come right here. You're going to support the attack, and you guys are all going to go after that right there. And we'll make an encirclement right there, too. Nice. Because how much political power... Oh, it doesn't cost any political power for that stuff. Okay, that's good. Got economy, multi-calling. Nice. Your construction. Uh, investigate the Palikoi geothermal plant. The first thing you people saw the building was the face of a huge statue looming over their heads. The faded sign on the wall was probably proclaiming a Palakoi geothermal, a subsidiary upside in energy. The power plant in front of them clearly showed some of the ravages of time, but it was built to last. The complex itself will be invaluable to us, not to mention the hidden knowledge within it. And of course, in regards to Oyabun. The Yakuza seem to be most reasonable folk, despite their criminal heritage. Maybe we can give Oyabun some gifts, we can get them to deal with some problems for us, like the way less reasonable vipers and jackals. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also continue to see what the Nevada Protectorate has in store for us. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.